Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on my modded Minecraft server. And today, yeah, we're here in the control center again because, well, uh, not much has happened. I do record a lot of these in a row. And since we don't have enough clay to continue, I thought what, what might be a good idea is to see about prepping for the Chaos Guardian. Or at least a little bit here. Another star, draconic evolution stuff. I honestly don't think we're quite ready for it yet. Those really? Is there, is there something there? I believe you can add and remove these from the tools and whatnot. No, that's the charger. Wrong machine. Yeah. So right now that's full of conic cores. Hmm. Yeah, the level of protection is not the problem. Let's see. It's got Kappa 6. One of those, one of those, one of those. Add, 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 add. Which led to its RF capacity as well as. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do for now. Alright. Um, do we have. Yeah, that's full of. Full of that level. Unfortunately, I think that we're running out of stuff to do here. That's the biggest problem. Hmm. Oh, let's see. I've got loads of draconic cores. I, the problem is, since this is world is on peaceful mode, it's a lot harder to come by uh, wither skulls. So, you know, that might not be a bad idea. I was thinking that perhaps we could try using the peaceful table. Throw in another one uh, at a crossroads. No, no, I think about it. I, I think of a lot of different things, and then I forget what I was thinking about when I, I'm able to record. Uh, let's see, sword. It's going to be an etheric sword. Great. A division sigil. Fifty-eight uses remaining, and we need to use twenty-seven of those now. Okay, let's see now. Diamond. Yeah, I think we've got plenty. And nuggets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, eight, nine. Forty uses remaining. Those ones won't kill you. Let's see, we're gonna need a book and quill. A book and quill. I believe it's the mob heads for the. Ah, been me. You know what? The most common one is the zombies, so let's use three of those. Get ourselves a looting three enchantment for the sword. Alright, we got that and that. Let's see what else. Ender fluid kind of it's not gonna help us say. <laughs> Sorry, it just isn't. That way, that way, move that over there. We need 
a red item filter because we're going to blacklist the sword and an item conduit and we'll need a chest and an ender chest if nothing else this should help increase the rates ever so slightly right I think this will work unfortunately because of how long this has taken it it just it takes large 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 amounts of time um I'm not a huge fan of this crossroads, but we'll give it a shot. I'm not even sure if this will work. But I remember in vanilla, they spawn more frequently at crossroads. So, yeah. I am filter looting three, blacklist, extract always, throw that in there. And of course, we're gonna get really large amounts of blaze and zombie pigmen drops because they were the ones who respond the most frequently pretty much everywhere in the letter. Control center. Yeah. Because we need nether stars. We're going to need a lot of nether stars to do the other thing, but we need a lot of nether stars before that. Um, yeah, trophies. I just like looking at the trophies from open blocks. I, I know you can get them through looting, but I'm not sure. Yeah, they're in there. That's going to help. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, I think we're going to probably end up having another short episode. You know what? There's a white one core in there. Why don't we use that to enhance something? That would increase this thing's RF capacity, which would help. Alright, 95 million. I think it sucks off 10. That'll give us 600 million. I know that if you have it set all the way up to the absolute max it will do, it'll give you something like uh, 1.4 trillion RF. Most based image. No. Never mind. That's just a Dracona core. Never mind. Could give a fly out to where it should be one, but that would take a while. It takes quite a while to get out there, and so I don't think that would be a good idea. On the plus side, we are somewhat prepared. I can't really make soulbound anything just due to the fact that this is on peaceful and you need endermen. You need to actually have access to endermen. Which, unfortunately, we do not. <sighs> that was weird, but I actually kind of like the sounds of guests. I also like the villagers. Ah. Yeah, I suppose I could show you something else before we get head off here. 
I have made an interesting discovery with these autonomous activators set up like this. It does work, but if you request enough stuff to where every slot it gets filled, uh, instead of giving you the item or even just throwing the bucket on the ground like a player will, it just destroys the items. So as it as it fetches water, it was deleting the buckets of water. And per my calculations, the maximum you can request in a go is 128. So I don't. I think that the upgrades are from MFR. Yeah, there's a. It's actually a family of mods that that's part of, but I don't have all the family. I just have basically thermal foundation and thermal expansion. In this pack, so yeah, that's a no go. And unfortunately, I am actually kind of out of content for the moment. I mean, I can show you what all you've got. Uh, unfortunately, because of the large scale of all of this, uh, this is a little sluggish. I've never quite understood how AE picks to do where it puts stuff in your storage system because I've heard it's supposed to be the furthest away but that's not necessarily the case because this drive is completely full and most of these discs are completely empty around it and then there, there's the one disc in here that's completely full with nothing else in the drive has got anything on it this one all these discs are completely full this disc is empty these ones are full, this one's empty, 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 that one's working on it. I've, I've never understood that. It's supposed to be based on how far away it is. I'm not entirely sure we're actually going to finish the CPU part of the crafting because, quite frankly, we don't need it. And before we do any kind of swinging with this thing, let's, uh, Turn it down a bit. Oh yeah, the corners aren't going to work here. <laughs> well designed. But so far, these have proved to be plenty big. There's that one, that one, and that one. And we got some more bits for a crafting CPU, but they're just not attached to anything. So, I don't know. Yeah, all that's off. Interestingly enough, if you have infinity on it, it'll fire anyways. Anyone no arrows in your inventory? Uh, it's just something that I've found useful. Anyways, I do be rambling a bit. I do hope you enjoyed the episode, even if we didn't do much. I... Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure to smack that like button. And if you really enjoyed the episode, then make sure to subscribe for other videos. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.